Good evening, everybody. This is the Balloon Bandit of Amusement with a Twist, and today uh, we're going to be making a skull and crossbones. Um, so you're going to need uh, uh, white rounds. This is a 9 inch, this is a 5 inch. Uh, you could use two 5 inches if you wanted, a 5 inch, a 6 inch, two 6 inches, two 5 inches, whatever your uh, goals are, um, you can do it that way. Uh, you'll also need two white uh, 260s. I use Qualitex balloons. Uh, these round ones are actually from Party City uh, because I couldn't get up with my uh, supplier during the uh, weekend and I needed rounds. So I actually went to Party City and got round balloons. Um, but whatever your choice of balloons is, it is neither here nor there. Um, so we're going to get started. And remember to like, share, and comment below. Um, so I know if we're on the right track for videos you would like, if there's a request for a type of balloon, uh, let me know in the comments below, okay? So let's get started. We're going to use the two, uh, white rounds. Uh, we want to make the top one bigger than the bottom one. So, um, I usually only blow it up to about my hand size, which you could actually do with the, uh, five inch. See, it's not really going to make a difference uh, if you use two 5 inches or a 9 inch. It, it, the only difference is it's more rounder versus more elongated. Um, so basically now what I want to do is I want to shrink it to about half the size. And then I'm just going to tie the two balloons together. So basically we just roll it over and we just tie a knot. And this is the basis of your uh, skull is, is that you have the lower jaw and the head. Um, with this one, even though I do not like using uh, markers on my designs, I am going to be using a Sharpie black to draw on it in order to make the uh, skull itself because I don't like giving this one away without a design on it because people are like, what is it? It could be a snowman for all that matters because all you have to do is put your arms straight out the side and you got a snowman. Uh, we can also make that video in later date and time too. Um, so basically you'd have your bottom and then your top for your snowman and then you would just put two arms coming out the side. Uh, you could use 160 arms, 260 arms, it's really up to you but that's a whole different video for a different time. Um, right now we're just gonna focus on adding our uh, um, our bones for our cross and let's get started with that part and then we'll go in back and draw on it okay so I got two uh, white 260s uh, five to seven off the nipple like always um, that's just my preferred um, ones you're not even going to use that much of the balloon so if you went uh, shorter like 14 fingers off the nipple that that's your choice um, I just find it to be accommodating to me uh, remember to squeeze down your balloons uh, before you get started in order to soften them and then we're gonna start with uh, double ear twist I do not like doing the double ear twist this way uh, where you make the two bubbles, then you wrap it around, and then you pull the knot through the top and under, like that. And then you have to go back and twist them. I don't really prefer to do it that way. Some people do, some people don't. Okay, this one is going to be approximately what is uh, um, six fingers in the size. Then we want to do an ear twist. Followed by an ear twist. Now, with your uh, uh, bones, you can either make them all the same size, going all the way through your design, or you can make one size longer than the other. I usually just make them the same size, so we'll fold it over, and then we'll make our double ear twist. It is very possible to get all your bones out of one balloon. Um, See, I still have plenty of room, so we can 
probably get another set of bones out of here, but it would still make them shorter by adding the ear twists and ear twists. So I will just new, use a new balloon myself. Um, but if you want to just make it out of one white balloon, you can. Okay. So next what we need to do is we need to do our double ear twist. In. There's one, and we're going to make it the same size, and now with this set, what we're going to do is we're going to interlock it between the ear twists, just rolling it around, we're not, we're not forcing it in there, we're just rolling it through, okay, and then what we want to do is we want to go again, same size, and then your double ear twist, so uh, one finger bubble, and one finger bubble, pull out, and rotate. And then we're gonna break it off. Okay, this gives us our, our crossbones. Depending on how you position your ear twist will dep depend on um, the way that your crossbones look. Two on the top, two on the bottom. Uh, uh, more spacing in the middle here um, versus more spacing on the bottom. It just depends on how those ear twists are in there. It'd be just like making an X and then just make sure to rotate your bones in the same direction. If you got them all facing like in an outward motion um it looks better than having one set like this and one set all, all the rest of the sets are like in that so uh, basically just position them and since this has the more spacing here it makes it easier when we add this so basically all we're doing is we're going to roll our balloon into the design And now that we have this ear twist here, we actually have to physically move it to a different position because now we want these two to come together. So basically we need to position this ear twist to the back side and bring the round one to the front. So basically we have what looks like that. And then make sure to position the other one. You could probably get away with one ear twist back here on the back instead of having two. It actually looks like a, a butt, um, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, position your balloons so that they set. Then these two in the back. Okay, so now we have our skull and crossbones. Okay. And, like I said, with any design that's pure white like this, I do like to draw on it, even though I say I don't like to use markers. I really, really do not like to use markers on designs. Um, that's just me personally, so uh, we're just going to make our eyes. And then we want a nose. And then we need our mouth. Okay, so we have our eyes, our nose, our mouth. If you want, you can add uh, add little wiggly lines for like skull cracks. And a simple to easy uh, design skull and crossbones okay if you like this video please like the, uh, and comment below if you don't comment below and let me know what I could have done different uh, again it's just a simple easy skull and crossbones for any kid uh, great during Halloween um, we're gonna do a lot more Halloween uh, designs this year uh, let me finish drawing on his eyes here Voila. Okay. So remember to like, subscribe, 
Enjoy, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Be safe.